the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 331 1 Corinthians 15-16 Witnesses of Resurrection Paul stressed that believers should have hope in the resurrection and encouraged the Corinthian church to be glad in relieving the Jerusalem church. First point. Paul taught the Corinthian church to have hope in resurrection. 1 Corinthians records many of the answers Paul gave to the Corinthian church members who asked the questions. In chapter 15, Paul did not write that they specifically asked regarding the question of resurrection, but he added this with the consideration that they should know. Paul moreover testified that many people witnessed Jesus' resurrection. Among them were Peter, the other disciples, 500 brothers, James, and all the other apostles, then Paul himself. Paul testified that Jesus came to him who at the time was persecuting Christians and revealed his resurrected form so that Paul could testify. Second point, Paul taught that the resurrected Jesus would ensure that the church members also resurrected. Paul confirmed to the Corinthian church who doubted Jesus' resurrection that Jesus did indeed raise up from the dead and that they would also resurrect. Paul said that if there was no resurrection, it would be useless to believe in the gospel or to have faith and furthermore, they would all be useless witnesses. If there was no resurrection, those who died, and those who were to die would be forever destroyed. If there was no resurrection, those who had faith would have to live without any hope. Paul confirmed that the resurrected Jesus would enable the church members to also resurrect. This was all possible through Jesus. Thus, Paul told them that all would resurrect when Jesus came for the second time. Ultimately, when he came for the world to end, Jesus would bring the final victory. Third point, Paul declared that the church members would experience resurrection and witness the final glory. Paul told the Corinthian church about how they would experience resurrection. Paul thanked God for promising us the second coming of Jesus Christ and for the final victory through the laws which were prerequisite into the gospel. Humans were to realize their sins and the part of sin was death. However, although it was only natural for humans to die, all humans who believed in Jesus Christ would be able to resurrect again and experience the final victory. Paul referenced Isaiah and Hosea as proof of this and gave thanks to God. As such, Paul taught them about the resurrection and then advised them not to waver or misunderstand. Fourth point, Paul asked the Corinthian church to treat Timothy, who was going to them in Paul's place as they would treat Paul himself. As Paul wrote to the Corinthian church, he asked them to provide financial aid to the Jerusalem church. Paul had previously asked the same request to the Galatians church. It is likely that Paul asked all the places he went to help the Jerusalem church. The reason he wished to collect the funds was in order to help the Jerusalem church who were poor. Paul hoped that the Jerusalem church would collaborate with the other churches and practice love and giving. As Paul wrote 1 Corinthians, he asked them to take care of Timothy, who was on his way from Macedonia. 
Paul had worried that Timothy would face difficult when he arrived at the Corinthian church at the time was facing internal divisions. Timothy was on his way to Corinth. Paul knew that his letter would reach Corinth first, and so he asked in his letter to take care of Timothy before he arrived. Fifth point, Paul outlined the news of the other churches in Asia and ended his letter by telling the churches to greet one another. As Paul finished his first letter to the Corinthians, he requested a few things to them. The first was to be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and secondly, do everything in love. After this, Paul wrote his final wishes. Paul wanted the church members to read his letter together and then greet one another through a holy kiss. This was to get over their quarreling and misunderstanding. Paul lastly wrote his wishes for the church to greet Priscilla and Aquila. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.